There's one coin in the Pulse Chain ecosystem that's pumping more than all the others right now, and I'm going to teach you how to get it. That coin is called INC. This is the incentive coin for the yield farming rewards on Pulse Chain. Now watch this video very carefully. I'm gonna quickly go through everything you need to click on. I'm gonna hold your hand and walk you through yield farming and how to make passive income and high yields by liquidity providing on the PulseX decentralized exchange. So here's the chart really quick. Let's go into the chart of INC token. You can see it's up to $7. Now the reason it's pumping so hard is really just because it's reflexive and it dumped so hard to begin with too. But as of lately, I think it did a 15X from bottom to top sitting at $7.12 today. And a lot of people are chasing this coin as a meme coin, which is fine. I just prefer to earn it by yield farming where I can do less work. I don't actually have to buy it. You are taking on a risk, which I'll talk about at the very end. So again, watch this closely. So if the price of this coin going up is not enough for you and you're asking, why should I care about any of this? Why should you care about any of this, guys? Let's go to the PulseX trading platform right here. Links are all in the description below. This is the PulseX decentralized exchange. All right, we're going to go to the farms tab. Look where my mouse is on the top. Hover over earn, go to farms, and we can see that a lot of the farms here are paying out 22% APR plus. Some of the stablecoin farms are paying out over 130% APR, which means you would over double your money in a year if you left your farms in here for a year. You know, there's some other variables at play, but you know, Hex and PLS paying out almost 50% and the INC pair is paying out over 50%. These are crazy high yields. So if you want to capitalize on this as another way to make passive income on Pulse Chain, stick with me here. Yield farming is actually a very simple process, okay? All you need to do is get the two coins in the pair. So for example, if you want to yield farm on the PulseX Pulse pair, LP stands for liquidity providing. If you wanted to make 22% APY, you're essentially staking both Pulse and PulseX, an equal dollar amount of each, in these yield farms. And these are called yield farms, okay? So it's basically a two-step process. You go over here, look where my mouse is. You hover over trade and you go to liquidity, and you provide liquidity over here. So step one, you provide liquidity, okay? And step two is you go over here to the farms and you stake that liquidity position in a farm. Now for all these farms here, in order to be eligible to stake your LP tokens in these farms, you need to make sure when you're on the liquidity tab here, follow along with me, you need to make sure you're on V1. V1 liquidity pools are only eligible for yield farms at this point in time. Now, V2 liquidity pools are if you want to make fees, if you want to make money in the form of transaction fees of everybody trading all day long. But really, the, the real rewards right now are coming from INC. That's what a lot of people are chasing is the yields on the V1 pair. So make sure if you want to earn those fees from the farms over here, if you want to earn these high yields over here, okay, go to liquidity and click V1. All right, follow along with me. You can see I've already got a liquidity position up right now. If you're brand new, you're not going to see anything in this box, and that's okay. Now you're going to click add liquidity, click add liquidity, that button right there. Now again, make sure you're on V1. All right, just make sure you're on V1. Now let's just say we want to provide some liquidity in the PLS and HEX liquidity pair. Remember that was paying out about 50% APY. And look, one thing I'll mention is that you shouldn't be joining these yield farms unless you're bullish on both coins in the pair over the long term. Okay. If for whatever reason you're like a Pulse X maxi and you only like Pulse X and you think Pulse is going to dump and you hate it then this whole thing isn't for you. But this whole game of liquidity providing is mainly for the person that believes that all four of these coins are going to go up and down reflexively together. So when you understand also that all these coins are linked by liquidity anyway, it becomes pretty reasonable to assume that Pulse, PulseX, INC, and HEX, they're all going to go relatively up and down together because they're so tightly locked in liquidity. Okay, And because the community is so focused on all three or four, these are the core coins of the ecosystem. It's not that crazy, in my opinion, to assume that they're all going to do well, even if they have a temporary seasonality aspect to them. So let's go back over here, all right? Let's assume that you like Pulse and you like Hex. So let's select Hex from this drop down down here. Pulse is automatically up here. We'll go to this drop down. We will select Hex. Now remember, you're selecting P Hex in this one. This is the Hex on Pulse chain, not the old Hex from Ethereum, not this one, okay? This one, not Hex from Ethereum, the new Hex. Now we're just going to do a very small amount to start. But you'll notice if I put a number of PLS in one side, the other side is going to automatically calculate the amount of coins with an equal dollar value. So for example, I've got a thousand PLS on this side. That's about 12 cents. Look right here at about 12 cents. That's going to automatically tell me that if I want to put up 12 cents, I need to put up a symmetrical and equal dollar value worth of hex on the other side. I don't need to do any math. You know, this, this computer will do that for me. But 1,000 pulse on one side would equal 10 hex on the other side. So I'm putting in 1,000 pulse 
and I'm putting in 10 hex in this liquidity pair, this liquidity pool. All right. Now this is almost nothing, right? This is what, like 22 cents, 12 cents a pulse, 12 cents a hex. Really simply, guys, you connect your MetaMask. You should have a MetaMask already. I'm assuming you do for the sake of this tutorial. If you don't, links in the description below for other wallets like Rabby, Internet Money, any crypto wallet will do. Internet Money is a great one. Rabby is a great one. Look, you get your wallet. You have to have both coins. Okay, so you have to have some pulse. You have to have some hacks. If you don't have those already, well, I'm also assuming you have both of these coins. Click Supply. All right, click Supply. Click Confirm Supply. And this is going to say... Look, you're adding V1 liquidity and you're getting this many Hex PLS pool tokens. These pool tokens are going to be a representation, a receipt of the fact that you have a liquidity position. Okay, and it's going to go into your wallet as the form of a PLP token, a Pulse X liquidity position. We're going to confirm the supply. Click this button again. All right. Now your MetaMask or I have Rabi over here. It's going to pop up right here and you're going to confirm that transaction. Okay, it's going to confirm that. Confirm it again. And there we go. So we see transaction submitted. Now after this, very important that you don't just close this right away. Add the PLP to your MetaMask or to your Rabi, whatever. It's going to automatically add this token into your wallet. And I've already added it, but you know, click this button right here with the Fox icon to make sure that you can now see this PLP in your wallet. And again, guys, this PLP token is what? What does this mean? It's a receipt. It's a token that represents your liquidity position. It's just saying, hey, by the way, this PLP is just here to keep track of the fact that you just put in a thousand pulse and 10 hex into the hex uh, P PLS liquidity pair. So we close this and we can open our wallet again. And Rabi is kind of nice because Rabi will show you down here in the pulse X tab. Rabi will actually show you that you've got, you know, it'll show you all your liquidity farms nice and evenly. Okay. If you've got MetaMask, it's going to look a bit different. Okay. You're just going to see a PLP token. Rabi is kind of nice because look, I can go in here, I can open up the PulseX tab at the bottom and I could see, you know, here are those coins that I just supplied. So you'll notice that I've got this hex, right? Remember, this is the 1000 hex here, 1000 pulse rather, and 10 hex in the liquidity pool. But notice that it's only in the liquidity pool. That's because we have to do step two, which is put it in the farm. You can see I've already got some that's being farmed right now, but let's go take this liquidity pool, hex pulse pair, okay? Let's go stake that in the earn tab on the farm to start making passive income right now. So you've done this. Okay, you've done this and you can actually scroll on the screen. It'll also show you here are the LP tokens in your wallet. Here's that position of, you know, a thousand pulse and 10 hex. All right. You could also see it on the screen as a final confirmation if you're wondering. So it's both in your wallet and on the screen. Just make sure you're connected to the right address. And we go to the earn tab, click on farms. Okay, this is step two. Now remember, we had Hex Pulse LP. Hex Pulse LP is right here. Farming tab. You open this up. You click on it to open it up. Now these all say V1 over here. Notice because you have to be in the V1 pools, which we already did in the previous step. You can see I've already got some Hex PLS LP staked right here. So I'm already earning INC. I've earned uh, five pennies worth of INC so far. Yay. Now if I want to add more, I click this plus button right here. And I would say add the maximum amount. Okay, remember, you're adding your PLP tokens. So don't worry about this number. This number is just a reference point for the computer to know how much underlying pulse and hex are behind it, right? This is your PLP token. And it's about 24 cents, remember, because I added uh, 12 cents of pulse and 12 cents of hex. And then you would just confirm to add that. Okay, confirm in your wallet. Click sign and create, click confirm. MetaMask is going to look very similar. MetaMask is fine. Don't worry that I have a different wallet. And we see transactions submitted. Now just wait about 10, 20, 30 seconds and it should add automatically to the LP position. And you should see this number will go up a little bit and I'll be earning more INC. Now what if it was your very first time? Okay, what if you had never started staking your LP tokens before? Well, let's go over back onto the liquidity tab right here. You can see I've got a little bit of Pulse and Pulse X liquidity position that I've actually never staked yet. So I've never staked this Pulse Pulse X pair yet. So we're gonna go over to the Farms tab again. Click on Farms and we're gonna say as a first timer, as a first timer, I need to enable the farm. So if you've never done this before, you just click enable on the farm. Okay. Click sign, click confirm in your, in your wallet, whichever wallet you have, it's going to say transaction submitted. And after that goes through, after it becomes enabled, it's going to say stake LP. So that enable button is going to turn into a stake button. You just click stake as if it's your first time. And remember, we've got that Pulse X and Pulse LP as well from the liquidity tab that we were just at. 
And we're just gonna stake the maximum amount. You could stake less if you want. You could stake 50%, but I'm just gonna stake the maximum. And this is about three pennies worth of Pulse and Pulse X. So not very much. Confirm, click confirm right here. Before we click confirm, I'm just gonna show you. You can play around with the calculator and say, look, if I if I stake $10,000 worth, 10,000 USD worth of Pulse and Pulse X, over the course of a year, I'm gonna earn $2,400 worth of INC. Weekly, I'll be earning $42. That's pretty good for passive income, right? Weekly. You know, $1,000 worth is gonna earn me $4.23. Every month, I'd be collecting almost 20 bucks, okay, in yield in the form of INC token. So that ROI calculator is pretty cool if you wanna calculate passive income, okay? Now we just click confirm again, right? We're staking the LP, the PLP token. We're staking our liquidity position. Click it again, click it again. Click confirm in your wallet. It'll say transaction submitted. And we just wait again, 20 seconds maybe, and it'll be just fine. You'll see the INC start to be adding up every couple of seconds. It trickles in very slowly. So I'll fast forward so we don't have to wait 20 seconds. And this is what it should look like, okay? When you've got Pulse Pulse X LP staked, you'd see it right here. I've got 194. Now this 194 number, okay, this is not like the number of coins of Pulse X coins and Pulse coins you have. This is just a representation of your share of the liquidity pool. So this number right here will not make sense, okay? Refer to the USD value and then you could see the underlying, look, this liquidity position actually represents 304 Pulse X, if you could read these tiny numbers, and 124 PLS. Okay, if you could read those numbers. And we could see every couple of minutes, this INC earned box will just start adding up INC coins over and over. So right now I've probably earned like 0.000001 INC. You know, I'm not earning that much because my position's like three pennies. But yeah, you can see if I, if I harvested this, it would be some amount of INC, but it's such a small amount that it doesn't even show up after three decimal places. So look, you can harvest your INC anytime by clicking the harvest button. Okay, and this is gonna add INC token to your wallet. So look, Tokens in, I'm actually adding a tiny, tiny little bit of INC token every time I click harvest. And again, when you click that harvest button, it's just gonna pop up your MetaMask or your wallet, your crypto wallet again. Click sign, click confirm, and it's like transaction submitted. And that INC will then be routed to your wallet in a matter of a couple seconds, okay? Now, if you ever wanna remove your liquidity position, you just click the minus button. You click the minus button here. You say, I wanna remove the maximum amount of liquidity, okay? Let's say I wanted to remove my Pulse X PLS LP. I remove the max, I click max, I click confirm, pops up my wallet again, confirm the transaction in your wallet, click okay or confirm, the transaction will be submitted, and then I will fast forward 15 seconds until this actually goes through. And look right here guys, after that withdraw transaction goes through, it should just go back to looking like it originally did with the stake LP button, zero INC, and those PLP tokens will show up back in your wallet. Now, when those PLP tokens are back in your wallet, first of all, we could see them here. If we look in our wallet, again, we scroll to the bottom, open up PulseX, and we can see that those Pulse and PulseX tokens right here that I'm circling right here, those are back in the liquidity pool. Those are no longer in the farming section. They're back in the liquidity pool because we just withdrew them, right? So now we're gonna go back to the liquidity tab on PulseX. So trade, liquidity tab, and we should see, here it is. Here's my liquidity position back unstaked and ready for me to pull out. So what if one day, you know, after six, 12 months, maybe you want to pull out your liquidity position or some of your liquidity position. Cause remember you, you can pull out part of it too. You could have clicked 25% or 50%, whatever you can literally withdraw whatever amount you want. But let's say we want to withdraw this one. We click on it to open it. We say remove. Now we could add more liquidity if we wanted to, we could make this liquidity position bigger we're just gonna remove it to show you how coins go back into your wallet. We're just gonna really simply remove the whole thing. You can slide it however much you wanna remove, 27%, 46%. I'm gonna remove the whole thing. I'm gonna click max, okay? Now I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna click enable. Every time you do something for the first time uh, on a blockchain, you have to click enable, okay? So click sign and create. In MetaMask, it's just gonna say confirm, okay? And then you just click remove. Now you click confirm and it's saying, look, you're gonna receive 304 Pulse X coins, 124 Pulse coins back to your wallet. You're actually burning that liquidity position. Remember that PLP token? You're burning that PLP token and you're getting your coins back that that PLP token represented, all right? Confirm, it pops up your wallet again. Just like always guys, we just go ahead and click confirm in the wallet to make the transaction and we just wait. 
We just go ahead and wait. And after a couple seconds, all right, this box down here will go away after that transaction goes through. And you can see, and there it goes. Look, you can see the transaction receipt. I no longer have any PLPs here. I can go back to this page here. I don't have any liquidity pools and that 300 pulse X and that 100 pulse, whatever it was, it went back into my wallet. And I can see, I could pull up my wallet balance here. And notice that I have a couple more pulse coins and a couple more pulse X coins. So it's all good. That's how you do liquidity providing guys. That's how you do liquidity providing. Now you might notice, you might notice that these farms over here, they don't include every coin. These farms deliberately involve stable coins, Ethereum, Hex, INC, and Pulse and Pulse X, because the goal is to link all these coins together by liquidity so that one, people have enough liquidity to buy Pulse Chain itself or with using Ethereum or stable coins. And two, whichever coin people decide to buy more of, it pumps all the other coins as well because you notice that Pulse X is tied to Pulse liquidity. Hex is tied to Pulse liquidity. INC token is tied to both Pulse and Pulse X liquidity. So these coins are deliberately chosen, but there's a lot of liquidity pools that you might want to provide for that don't show up in the farms. And if you want to provide liquidity on Pulse X and your coin pair is not in the farm, you need to choose V2. So let's go back to the liquidity tab, okay? Let's go back to the liquidity tab. Let's say I want to pair my E hex with my hex. My hex from Ethereum that I bridged in, and I want to pair that with my hex. I would just click on V2 over here now. And you want to click on V2 to make sure that when you provide liquidity, again, with pairs that don't exist in those farms, okay, if you don't see it in the farm, do a V2 pool because you want to actually be earning transaction fees rather than earning INC token. So V1 pools earn INC token, V2 pools earn transaction fees. Again, V1 pools earn INC token when you stake them in the farm, V2 pools earn transaction fees. We're going to add liquidity. And again, sometimes it defaults you back to V1. Click on V2. Remember, if you want to be in a, a non-INC farm pool, okay, you won't be earning INC over here on V2. You will not be earning INC. You'll just be earning trading fees from other people trading. And let's say I want to pair hex, you know, the hex on Pulse Chain, the new hex, and I want to pair that with the old hex, the old hex here, hex from Ethereum. You can see that the circles around the hexes are different colors. Okay, that's how you know. And let's say I just want to pair, you know, 10... 10 P hex with 50 hex. So we look, we're at about a five to one ratio right now. First of all, if it's your first time doing this, you need to enable both. So this might've actually happened to you the first time in the previous example. If you don't have the coins enabled already, you need to enable them. So we're gonna enable both hexes to be added. Click enable there, click enable on this side. We're gonna sign and create that in Rabby. And you can see they're both enabling. So in about 10 seconds, we'll be able to supply 10 hex and 50 e hex into the v2 liquidity pool there we go transaction receipt is successful and there we go they were both successful now i click supply supply again it's going to confirm that you're adding v2 liquidity right because we don't have yield farms for this pair there's no yield farms on pulse x for this pair we're adding we're depositing 10 hex and 50 e hex hex from ethereum that we bridged in and we confirm the supply it pops up in our wallet here Look here, we're adding 10 hex, 50 e hex, sign and create, go ahead. And we could add this PLP to our MetaMask as well. And so this PLP in your MetaMask will be, you know, your symbol that you already, that you have this underlying liquidity position. It's just your receipt, okay? We're gonna close that. Again, another way to check if you don't have the PLP token added in your MetaMask, another way to verify that you've got the liquidity position open is again, you'll see it down here below the screen. And actually, you can go read down here and see the advantage of V2 versus V1. Look what it says down here. For V2, by adding liquidity, you're going to earn 0.22% of all the trades on this pair proportional to your share of the pool. Okay? On V1, what happens? Adding liquidity helps burn Pulse X and all the swap fees go to buy and burn. And you earn INC token if you provided uh, the right pair that's eligible in the farms tab. So that's the difference between V1 and V2. Just saying again. All right, now I had to speed up the transaction and pay a little more gas to get this going faster. But look down here, guys. Look, after the transaction goes through, you could see your position here as well as in your wallet. You could always go back here and look down at the very bottom of the screen. I've tied hex to e hex, okay, hex from Ethereum, and I pulled 10 hex and 50 e hex, okay? That's what I did. So I'm earning a tiny little bit of trading fees every time somebody swaps between one and the other. Now, this is optional to only do this if you want, okay? Really, the real value comes from the V1 pairs. I just wanted to explain the difference between V1 and V2. 
So again, guys, it's a two-step process here. All right, two-step process. What did we just say? Step one, you pair your coins, you get PLP. So for example, you saw me earlier, I paired Hex and Pulse, and I got PLP. All right, that's on the liquidity tab over on PulseX. Go to PulseX, V1, add liquidity, and you know, let's say I paired Pulse and Hex, just like earlier. Go rewind the video if you missed it, okay? You get the PLP in your wallet, PLP in your wallet, and then step two is you stake that PLP in the farms, the yield farms, and you get INC trickling in slowly every single minute of every single day. And remember, you go stake that PLP in the farms tab. So really, liquidity tab, farms tab. Step one, liquidity tab, step two, farms tab. It's very pretty simple to remember, just a two-step process. In the farms tab, you know, you'd stake it down here when you open up that hex pulse liquidity pair. First, you go to liquidity, right? Click liquidity. And then the V1 pairs are specifically for the INC farms. Remember, pair pulse and hex. Just a screenshot to remember. And then step two is you go to the farms tab and you go stake it down here below just by clicking the buttons. And you can harvest INC anytime you want. The INC gets routed to your wallet. You can do whatever you want with your INC. You could actually compound your INC. Some people are doing this. They're taking their INC and they're going and putting it in like, let's say the INC PLS pair. So some people are, when they earn INC, they're further uh, pairing that INC to PLS to make the system even more reflexive. And it's just a whole big, you know, self-referencing system. It's kind of actually awesome when it comes to the price potential pumping. And again, one last reminder, V1 versus V2. You're gonna wanna use V2 only for yield farming coin pairs right now. You're gonna wanna use V1 only for yield farming coin pairs right now. So if you don't see the pair, in here, use V2. All these pairs on this screen for the farms, those are V1 pairs, right? Look at, because it says V1 right here. For now, for now. If it changes, I'll let you guys know. And V2, for now, is only for earning fees. The pairs that are not in the yield farms. So consider E-Hex with Hex. Consider pairing any coin with INC. You know, there's a the whole concept of if INC pumps, then what happens? Guys, think about it. If INC pumps, or if you tie your coin to INC and then you raise awareness about INC as a meme coin or whatever, because it has been pumping lately, well, if INC pumps, then the yield on all the other coins pumps, right? So people are more attracted to seek those yields. So people are more attracted to buy Pulse, PulseX, INC, and Hex to get those yields. You see what I mean? And it's a positive feedback loop there. Not a lot of people are talking about pairing a coin to the INC coin itself. You could do that on, on PulseX V2. It might be an advanced strategy. And a lot of people also ask, well, how do I know if I'm earning fees? How do I know? There's no easy way to see how many fees that you've earned, okay? If you're in a V2 pool, it's not like there's like anywhere you can go right now. Hopefully this is coming soon. Hopefully maybe somebody will build this. But you're earning fees every day. You just have to trust that you're earning fees, okay? You can check back in in a couple months and see how much of one coin you have versus how much of another coin. But when you have the liquidity position locked in Pulsex V2, you're earning fees, okay? But there's nowhere that's gonna tell you like INC, how it's showing you you're racking up INC. V2 is not gonna show you, hey, you've earned this many fees. You're just gonna be earning fees and when you pull it out later, you're gonna have the coins you put in, maybe some impermanent loss, and additionally, you're gonna have those fees that hopefully offset that. Now, thanks for sticking till the end because we gotta remember the very final point that everyone gets scared about is impermanent loss. You all hear about this impermanent loss, okay? Now, if you're providing liquidity in general, you need to have two things in mind. One, you need to be bullish on both coins, meaning in the long run, maybe you're going to end up with less pulse X than you put in and more pulse than you put in. Like let's, if you put in a thousand pulse and 3000 pulse X, you're going to pull out a different amount of pulse and pulse X because liquidity farming is you're letting other people trade using your tokens. That's what it really is. You're putting your tokens into a liquidity pool and you're taking the opposite side of a trade. So if everybody decided that Pulse was more valuable and Pulse X was less valuable, let's say in two years from now, and you pull out your, your liquidity, you're going to have less of the more valuable one and more of the less valuable one. So you'd have uh, less Pulse and more Pulse X. Now, the assumption is that your INC rewards would have made up vastly for that difference. Okay, but you should have a long time horizon and be bullish on both coins. These two things need to be true. If you don't like both coins, or if you don't understand that, for example, in the stable coin pulse pair, if pulse goes up, you're going to end up with less pulse and more stable coins. Now, you might think that's bad, but look, this could also be a way to steadily and slowly scale out of pulse 
as the price goes up for more of the advanced users. That might be a reason to get into the stablecoin pulse pair and getting paid over double to do so in APY, 132% APY to uh, slowly effectively sell into a bull market. That could be an advanced strategy. And ideally you wanna exit near the same ratio that you went into. So let's say you went into Pulse and Pulse X at a three to one ratio. Well, hopefully in one or two years from now, whenever you pull this out, you pull it out at a similar three to one ratio, okay? And if it's not gonna be exactly three to one, there's no way to get it perfect, okay? But you're hoping that even if it's maybe a, a two to one ratio in the future, that the INC that you would have made along the way will even vastly outweigh the impermanent loss. Now these pairs are all the safest, okay? Because they're deliberately picked because they all go up and down together. So these pairs actually do have very, very mitigated impermanent loss, specifically hex pulse and pulse x pulse. Okay, so don't overthink impermanent loss. Just know that one, you need to have a very long time horizon and two, you need to be bullish on both coins and okay with having a different amount. Play around with just 20 bucks for a couple days or a week because some people don't understand the fact that I'm saying you're gonna have different balances in there. Go put 20 bucks in there and you could watch the coin balances fluctuate as people trade using your liquidity. You can just watch it happen and you could do that for, you know, gas fees are only a penny or less on Pulse Chain. So put 20 bucks in there, watch it for a couple of days if you don't understand. And really you're gonna earn, you're gonna understand a lot more by doing this. So if you clicked along with me, congratulations, you probably understand all you need to know. But if you're just watching this, go actually go to your computer, click the links and do it yourself. Try it out. It's really, it's not that scary once you get used to it. And remember to get to the website, you go to app.pulsex.com. This is app.pulsex.com, link below. Click the IPFS link. I also see some people wondering if they're new, what is this IPFS link? Click it. That's how you get to the PulseX trading platform. Okay, this is the decentralized exchange hosted on the decentralized internet. And that's how you earn INC, which by the way, guys, let's see how much INC is pumped today. INC has done a almost a 14X from the lows so far. So if you want this shiny new coin, consider liquidity farming and getting paid to provide liquidity on PulseX trading platform. Like, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment. Share this with anybody that wants to know how to do yield farming on PulseX, how to earn crazy high yields and earn INC token by providing liquidity. I'll see you on the next video.